It's the God, Opulent LDTV, and I'm back with something for your ear. Look, man, I'm late, but I'm not too late because this is a hot topic. Keefe D has finally been arrested for involvement in the Tupac Shakur murder case. And the biggest question I have is, what took so long for Keefe D to get arrested? Him being involved with this murder is nothing new to any any of us who have been following this story for the longest. He's definitely played himself because all he really had to do was just stay low key. But his ego got a hold of him and I'm sure the whatever money he's been being paid for these interviews it is a nice little, you know, feels good to him. So he's, for years, been going around doing different interviews, speaking on the situation. Uh, most of us who, or let me just say, <laughs> in general, most people know that when somebody gets murdered, even the people who are there get charged for the murder as well so allegedly they're saying that Orlando is the one who is Keefe D's nephew he's allegedly the one who supposedly killed Tupac he's a supposedly shooter so as we all know Orlando he's he's dead <laughs> he got smoked a long time ago um, Keefe D should have been arrested for this murder because as we know accessories like I just said everybody who's there when a the murder takes, uh, takes place everybody goes to jail as we've seen uh, Suge Knight he's got into some other situations and which caused him to be in prison right now but I feel I really don't feel like Orlando was the murderer. I feel like it was more of a, the police officers who work for death row, I feel like they're the ones who shot Tupac or definitely have uh, their hands in the, hands on the involvement of his demise. Not saying, I mean, it could easily be said I mean, you got to look on the... Everybody likes to look on the surface. Like, people would just be like, well, Tupac, he got involved with a situation that had nothing to do with him, which is extremely true. He got into some gang politics. And yes, he definitely deserved to be violated for that. But there's always something deeper than that. If you're a person who just always looks at the surface, then... I know for sure that you're definitely lost in the sauce out here in the in the, in the world uh, in this life, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, I guess I want to talk about just the fact of what happened to the what happened to just staying quiet after doing you know committing a crime. What is what is with everybody having these huge egos and having to go brag about it what about even you know like why do people have to brag about the crimes that they do because to my knowledge the number one rule in doing a crime is not to get caught let me say that again the number one rule after doing a crime is not to get caught but people have made it cool these days to get caught and have felonies and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, in all essence, I respect, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I respect the dudes who do dirt who's never been caught. Those are the dudes that I respect more than, more than anything.
<laughs> yeah, I know that's a super unpopular opinion right there. Because so many people, they get on this this YT or just in general, just in life, they love bragging about, oh, man, I did this, I did that time. Man, ain't shit cool about going to prison, being a being a uh, legalized slave. That's what that's all that is. That's legalized legalized slavery. Ain't shit cool about that. Ain't ain't shit. Man, come on, man. Like I said, people be just talking with their ego most of the time, and they want to feel cool. Um, it's easy for melanated men or brown men to go to prison it's easy ain't shit tough about that what's tough is being out here living life and dodging all that bullshit um i'm just a man who listened to my og man i could have been in prison with the ease <laughs> with ease but i used my brain to stay out of bullshit um you'll never see me hear me come online incriminate myself <laughs> that ain't what it is but shout out to all the, all the dudes who've done dirt and got away with it and got no record because that's the number one rule and also let me just touch on just rats rats have been around forever there's never been a time where cats didn't rat so we need to stop with this, oh yeah back in the day man back in the day cats was ratting too i mean let's look at all these documentaries of rats and just you know being close to the streets and, and ish like that we've seen and known that ratting has been here forever what's happened now is that ratting has become cool right that's it's, it's almost become cool the cool thing to do but, yeah, man, it's a, all I can say, man, just stay in your P's and Q's and stay out the way. And also stay clear of these crash dummies, too, because if if you stay close to these crash dummies when they crash, you're going to become collateral damage, all right? So, hey, this is Opulent LDTV. Blessings to the mighty LD, LDBC. I'm reminding you to prosper energetically. I had to do it different this time. But y'all, once y'all hit that sub button, hit that like button.